In Austin's boomtown, city leaders are focusing on what our city will look like in the years to come. And they're doing that through changing the land development code, basically the rules about what can be built and where. Well, today, dozens of people concerned about what that could look like told Austin city leaders what they think. KVU's Molly Oak was at that meeting today, and Molly, the council heard hours of comments. Yeah, Quito, today, one after another, people told council their concerns. Kind of a wide variety of topics discussed. We heard about walkability. We heard about concerns about how the rewrite could change the feel of people's neighborhoods. But many people did say that while the rewrite isn't perfect, it is a step in the right direction. For these neighborhoods. Hours of comments and dozens of people with concerns, many coming from homeowners in Austin, which is one reason Kendra Garrett showed up today. Being able to afford um, an apartment across the city is really hard. I'm also a person who's strapped with student loan debt. While she's a renter in Austin, Garrett is also part of the Housing and Community Development Group with Austin Justice Coalition. Now we appreciate the amount of engagement that we've had with city and staff um, and that um, this second reading draft is much better than the first one in terms of um, uniformly kind of distributing housing across the city um, in terms of what's already existing and um, proponents for new um, units, um, particularly affordable ones. She wants a code that brings more opportunity for everyone across Austin. Garrett is also concerned with people getting displaced, as is Austin resident David King. I think that our programs for displacement mitigation are inadequate and we really need to ramp those up. Uh, before we start implementing the new zoning across our city. As written now, the code would increase density, allowing more multi-unit properties on the same pieces of land. The goal would be to increase affordability for everyone. Now, after public comment, the council did finally start their discussion today. They wrapped up about 5 o'clock in that room behind me. Remember, there are three required readings. This is only the second before we see a vote, so nothing set in stone just yet. That third reading is expected to happen sometime in March or even April. Live in Austin, Molly Oak, KVU News.